نحمد صلی اللہ رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعد باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر سسٹرس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی لکنگ ایٹ سلام Salam is how we greet one another as Muslims and it is therefore very important for us to remember that to learn this, the manners of greeting one another is a very basic thing to do as obviously our salam is a basic manner within Islam. So we will start today with a few verses from the Quran. The first verse is from the 24th surah, 27th verse. O believers, do not enter any house other than your own until you have asked for permission and greeted its occupants. This is best for you, so perhaps you will be mindful. This is from Surah, the 24th Surah and the 27th verse of that Surah. We will now move on to another Quran verse. This is from Surah An-Nisa, the 4th Surah, verse 86. And when you are greeted with a greeting... Greet in return with one better than it, or at least return it in a like manner. Indeed, Allah is ever over all things an accountant. This is from Surah An-Nisa, the fourth Surah, verse 86. This verse is reminding us that if someone were to say, Assalamu alaikum, we should be returning at the least in a like manner of Wa alaikum as or which we, what would be better is for us to return in a better way with wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu this is because we will get more thawab from it and it is important for us to remember my dear sisters it is sunnah to initiate the greetings of peace and it is wajib to return it sunnah meaning that it is something that the prophet used to do wajib meaning it is almost fard on us We will now move on to some hadith. The first hadith we will look at says that a man came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be upon you. So the Prophet ﷺ said 10. Then another came and he said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. So the Prophet ﷺ said 20. Then another came and said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessings. So the Prophet ﷺ said, 30. So my dear sisters, we should try our best to remember to say the last one, which is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, as it will give us more thawab than the previous two when we are greeting somebody. We will look at one more hadith. This hadith is reported by Abu Umama radiyallahu anhu who reports the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily the best of people are those who are first to greet with peace. This is from the source Sunan Abi Dawood 5197 and this reminds us that the best person to greet in any conversation is is the first person to initiate the greeting. So let's all try to be that person, my dear sisters. We'll now move on to some points regarding salam. We would first remember that it is recommended that the one who is arriving initiate the greeting. In other words, we should be, when we are entering somebody else's house, we should be the ones to, giving, to be giving the salam. Another point to remember is that it is sunnah for the rider to greet the pedestrian the pedestrian to greet one who is seated and the few to greet the many and the young to greet the old another point is it is recommended to greet the young children this is so that we can train them from a young age to apply islamic manners thus they will when they grow grow up they will already have this ingrained in within them Another point to remember is that it is forbidden to initiate the greeting of peace to the people of the books. These are Jews and Christians. And if they were to initiate it, you should say, Wa alaikum. Another point to remember is that it is permissible to greet someone who is reciting the Quran and if one extends the greeting, the reciter must respond. This means that if we were to go and greet somebody within a masjid, for example, and they are reading Quran, 
they are should be equating us back and this is not something that should cause any disruption another point to remember is that it is disliked to greet someone who is re- relieving himself i.e this is it's disliked for us to greet somebody who is in the bathroom it is recommended to extend greetings of peace upon entering one's home which means in, rather than saying assalamu alaikum we should be saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh another point is it is also sunnah to convey greetings of peace on behalf of others so for example if we are talking to friends and another friend is not with us we can say salam on their behalf another point to remember is when the imam is delivering khutbah so this would be during times like Jumma prayer on a Friday. It is disliked to give greetings of peace. This is because the khutbah is a time where we should be focusing on what the imam is saying. Another point is when one departs from a gathering, it is also sunnah for him or her to give greetings of peace. We should always be depart entering a place with people with peace and thus departing from a place of people with peace, my dear sisters. I hope we will all remember and stick to all of these points and try our best to implement them in our own lives, inshallah. Jazakallah khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.